hello guys welcome back to another video so today in this video we will gonna discuss about the dynamic land use land cover uh, which is freely available at global scale so earlier a lot of like isri and european space agency has launched a land use land cover for at global scale at 10 meter using sentinel data for the year 2020 data uh, using the 2020 uh, data so that was for statically for uh, static for the particular year but now world resource institute along with the google has launched a dynamic lulc it means what it means basically for each and every sentinel 2 image which is being in ingested in the google earth engine the lulc is being created simultaneously so for each and every sentinel scene you have a lulc so you can compare the land use land cover every 5 day 10 days whatever is the repeatability of the satellite data you can get the lulc even you can compare in the years so from the from the back i think 2018 or something you have sentinel data ingested in the set, uh, google Earth engine so you can have a lulc of that year and current year and you can easily compare so you do not need to classify the images and all so you can go on google and type dy dynamic world dot app and you will be directed redirected to this so these are the classes nine classes they have classified so you can just read about this paper is also there which has been published in the nature will directly go to the about section and you can read about this that they have written uh, between google and world resource institute to produce the dynamic data sets uh, oh sorry data set so they are, they have written here over 5000 dynamic world images are produced every day whereas traditional approaches to the build and take months and year to produce so like this for each and every sentinel image they are creating the lulc <coughs> we'll, uh, uh, we'll get to know about the data set later on so simply data access and availability it is available in the google earth engine so you need to have a google earth engine registration for that so if you don't have registration you have to register register for that so they have given the tutorials the three kind of tutorials so we will click to the first one visualization and creating composite directly so these are the classes nine classes and further what they have uh, how they have present the data basically they have nine bands so first eight bands are the basically the probability of a particular pixel of being that particular class suppose the water band is showing what is the probability of of a particular pixel of being a water class so it may be 0 0.1 then trees maybe 0.2 and maybe crops 0 0.7 so like then they have created they have calculated the probability basically so the first band are the probability of each class for each and every pixel and then finally label one is basically whichever class is having the maximum probability for for a particular pixel so they have labeled it to that that class so you can use either if directly you want to use lulc you can take the label band and if you want to play with the probability is okay what is the probability and all so you can use either of these bands you can take the maximum so you, exactly you will get the probability okay what 0.8 suppose particular pixel is in 0.8 probability of this crop so you can say okay it's a 80 percent chance of of, of uh, being a uh, agriculture pixel and there is a 20 percent chance of a water pixel so like that you can play with the data <coughs> so like this what i will do uh, i think this is the direct full script you can click on this so you will be read directly this code will open in your editor so <coughs> What we will do, we will just edit this. Uh, uh, we will edit this code, and we'll, I will show you how to just access the LLC for your particular region of interest and for your particular date, for the particular period of date. And also after that, I will show you how to do a change detection. Also, suppose you want to do a change detection. Okay, what is a new built up come up in your area, come in last five years? So like that, how to do a change detection? Also, I will show you. So first of all, we will see how to access the data. So uh, what I will do, I will just remove this geometry because this is some some area I don't know from Boston near near to Boston something. So what I will do, I will just zoom it to uh, India region here, and simply I will just here let me just draw a area of interest, a rectangle here. Let me just draw. So this is my area of interest now. The geometry name is there and start date and end date you can sorry let me just control that you can change the start date let me just modify this also mm, let me just go for 0 3 0 3 and 0 1 0 4 let me just go for 0 4 so what i'm doing i'm taking this for one month period 
and then sentinel 2 is this you can take either sentinel 2 or you can take surface reflectance product also and you can take the cloudy means it will select the images those images which is less than 30 percent cloudy instead of this first suppose if i use this directly if i run this so you'll see first means it will take the first image between these, these two dates so let me just switch off this area so like this is the first scene intersecting my area of interest like this it is showing okay so we don't want that i want my area of interest only for this particular area so what we will do we will modify it instead of that we will create instead of first we will use the mosaic operator and what it will do in, apart from classified image it will create this also let me just zoom in i'll show you this probability hill shade based on the probability of let uh, as i told you the bands are nine bands these eight are the probability and ninth one is the just label so what classified image is showing is the labeled on the base of the maximum probability it has labeled okay this is urban this is i think trees or something this is agriculture like this it is uh, labeled but this probability hill shade is showing wherever there is high altitude means elevation is there it means it is having the high probability of the uh, of being that particular class like this some dips are there so it means for these pixels the probability of being urban class is less but wherever it is high kind of thing so it means the probability of being a built up pixel is more so you can you can see those kind of things also or directly you can use LULC so now for getting the data for particular area of interest we'll just use this s2.mosaic and we will cl use clip function dot clip and we will use geometry this is the geometry that's why i'm using here geometry that's it and let me just do not zoom it center object it will automatically center to my area of interest and after that it is image id what earlier it was doing it was selecting the first image and it is getting the id of that and then it is finding that particular id into the dynamic world data sets so right now no need to do that what we do we will simply just copy this we'll filter similarly like this because we want for our particular area of interest for that particular date only so like this is how you access google dynamic world version 1 and start date and date is similar to the sentinel image and geometry is same here also we will use the mosaic operator after that for creating an image of the lulc and again we will use it clip we use clip geometry And after that this is simply nothing it is selecting the label band like out of all these band we are selecting directly label so whatever class is having the maximum probability we are getting that after that this uh, probability bands are also used but first let me just run this and i'll switch off this so now you can see for my particular area of interest lulc has been loaded so that's how you can create instead of drawing you can import the your any boundaries also let me just go for this punjab state i have this boundary i will show you that also but, for, but now as you can see the sentinel image has been loaded then this classified images has been loaded and probability hill shade is not loaded the reason behind that is actually our image is in uh, for generating the hill shade here uh, when it, after selecting these probability bands after that we are also for creating a hill shade we need probability values so after selecting this uh, label band we are selecting probability bands also then we are reducing it using the maximum whatever value is having the maximum uh, whatever class is having the maximum probability so simply we are multiplying it by the 100 to convert into simply 80 or 90 percent that kind of thing top probability so after that for creating the hill shade basically your projection should be into that one into the meters basically we need the projection which are, which is having the units in meters 
but right now when we will when we are clipping and doing this mosaic and clipping it geometry it will automatically convert into epsg 4326 which is in decimal degrees so what we have to do we have to just reproject our this one hill shade uh, before hill shade this top probability image so what we will do here for that we will simply create a projection one variable is equal to and let me just go s2 image collection we will select the first image and after that we will select any band let me just select band number one only it should be select sorry and dot projection that's how we can access the projection of this image and after that let me just print it first what is the projection projection dot crs so now if we run it let me just see the projection so projection 326 uh, 32643 so now what we will do let me just copy this and here this we will just simply reproject this image dot re project here bracket curly braces here we'll enter it simply crs and here we'll write this and comma scale because while reprojecting it will resample the image also so we have to give the scale also like 10 meters because center resolution is 10 meter so now if we run this so we should be able to get the hill shade also now so this is our s this, this is our image so as a whole it is selecting the probability band then taking the maximum out of all the band then multiply 100 reproject and creating the hill, hill shade so now as you can see our hill shade has also been loaded now so you can see this is water this is so you can see wherever this um, dips are there it means the probability is less here and also if you want to see these probabilities and all what you can do you can just simply add this one like uh, this probability image probability bands so you can directly add this also <coughs> uh, like map dot add layer and just simply add this probability image so now if i run this we'll use an inspector to we'll click anywhere so we'll get the values so suppose I will if I click here so it will give you the values see this layer number three is this one so for that particular pixel the water probability is very less 0 0.04 and yani 4 percent means 3 5 percent so maximum probability is crop is having 63.63 percent .63%. so like this you can keep on adding after that if I map dot add layer this top probability so it will just take the maximum of all the probability and just run it again now you can see here if i click anywhere here let me just switch on switch off everything here you see this this is the maximum is 0.34 so it means 0.34 is the trees so only 34 percent probability of being tree here if you click here somewhere so you can see here maximum probability of built up is 73 so like that you can play with the and finally label is already is there uh, label means label 6 so what it is 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it has given label 6 because maximum probability is built up so like that either you can use those band or you can use the label band so i'll just what i'll do i'll just save this code so for later on i, I will be able to share the the link of this code LULC dynamic so this is about the how to access the data and simply you can if you have any shape file loaded so you can simply just import this like I have imported this table with the name table and wherever you have used this uh, geometry just you use table let me just go for again here also 
and if I run this so you will get the data set for whole state Punjab state Let me just go for wherever we have used geometry we have to use table sorry and here also center object also let me go for table so now we will get the data set for whole state like this just zoom it anywhere and further also you can export the data set using the export command google earth you can search in uh, you can search on google how to export so it's a very easy task if you can i think here they have given somewhere example also how to export like this you can use this export image to drive and you can select them whichever image you want to export you can export to the it will export to the your google drive and you can download from there so like this for the whole punjab states we have now all these bands and you can export so like like this you can do it for your area of interest or uh, you can use shape files and everything so this is about how to access the data now what we will do we will see if uh, suppose you i want to do the change detection study kind of thing so let me what uh, let me go for the new script here and <coughs> simply let me start from here only first i will select so we have to select two images first start date end date so we'll direct, directly right here let me just go for 2019 first and 0301 and here let me just go for uh, 2019 0401 so let me just go for as to before so we have before after images first we'll take before and after like this and just give name and now after that I will create and also we need to define some area of interest let me go for any area here you go for this Chandigarh area uh, let me just draw a big rectangle here okay so I will use geometry here filter bounds geometry filter bound geometry just i will change the date to 22 so we will see how, how much built up has been changed from 19 to 22 and i will give the name here after simple as that now we will create the mosaic simple like variable s2 before is equal to simple we'll create the mosaic and dot clip clip to my geometry okay now again we'll just use after we'll just change the name to after and i will change the name here from after so we have created the mosaic now we can simply again we will we have to do the same thing we have to do for the uh, this dynamic LULC so what I will do I will just copy again here from here simply here okay I will give the name dynamic world before And let me just give the starting date similarly I will give the same date because we have to give the same date here again I will give just collection and instead of table I will give geometry and again I will create again I will just give the name after and I will just change the date 22 22 
geometry this date you can minimize also i have given one month because uh, in the cloud free i think uh, you can give five to ten days only that will be okay and again we will create the mosaic simply like variable dynamic world before so now this is our image so simple dot mosaic like this simply we will use the dot mosaic clip geometry and i will just copy paste again this and i'll just simply replace it after like this so now we have <coughs> both sentinel image ready and our dynamic uh, dynamic lulc ready for all the things now we have to select the band here for dynamic so we will select class before let me just give any name class before dot select we will select the label band let me just check the name whether it is okay or not band is label one okay we'll select the label band and again we will simply we'll just write it after and here i will write it after simple as that now we will we will add these layers first map.add layer first we will add sentinel image let me just copy those things this one this classification this one let me just copy these parameters here because these colors we want to keep it same so let me just copy this parameter here no problem map dot add layer first we will add sentinel image before uh, sentinel before comma and let me just give like this you select we have to make a composite true color composite will make you can make false or true depends on you let me just make true color composite b3 b2 comma minimum 0 comma max 3000 and you can give any name to it let me just give s2 before now what i will do i will just copy this just we will write as to after simple as to after image we will add now we will add about this one uh, this dynamic lulc also map dot add layer and we'll give the name this class before and this parameter is this one where where is this parameter these parameters we have defined here just copy this this one and just give any name lulc before and after that you just copy it and you just simply paste it after and just give the name after so now let me just run this so we'll be able to have a before after images and before after lulc after that we will just write the equation yes so i think we have 
let me just first check the image so this is our before image and this is our after image and this is our lulc before and uh, there is something error okay lulc before is there lulc after so we have both the images lulc before lulc after let me just increase the area a bit like this let me just run it so we have lulc before sentinel 2 before sentinel 2 after and we have lulc before lulc after so now we have now we have to see whatever area we have changed so we will do that using the probability bands directly also you can use but we will you we will do that using the probability bands so first we will select the built up built up before is equal to directly uh, what we will do here this dw before dot select and uh, what is uh, we'll check the name of that band name is built so just select built so we have select the before built up area and simply we'll select the after we'll just give the name after and we'll just give after now we will write one condition here we are using the prob these are the probability bands so what we will do we'll give a new variable variable new built up is equal to now we have to write any condition <coughs> so we'll use did uh, built up before sorry built up before dot less than we are saying if the probability is less than 0 0.25 if the probability of before because probability is very less 0.25 and then and also and and after that built up after is greater than 0.5 or 0.6 whatever you want to take dot greater than let me just go for point 0.6 you can take 0.5 also so if the probability of before in, in the image the probability of built up is less than 25 and after is 20.6 uh, so it means we have a build the probability has increased so it means now the pixel has changed to the built up so built up new built up has come up and we just create the mask also new is equal to new built up dot update mask so this is the new built update mask now we will add it map dot add dot add layer new built up comma we'll just we have to give any color kind of thing so let me just what we should give mm, minimum let me just give zero maximum one and we will give palette um, white and let me just give yellow color or what uh, yellow I think this is fine now and just put comma here and we'll give any name new build up So now new built up comma minimum is zero maximum is one is fine okay here we have with the colon now it is fine now if I run this now we will gonna have everything before image after image 
LULC before after image and new built up in the yellow pixels. So let me just switch off this LULC before and LULC after. No need of that. We'll see the directly built up pixels. So whatever these yellow pixels, wherever these yellow pixels are there, it means new new built up has come up there. So these are the yellow pixels as you can see. If I see before after image. So if I see this area, specific this area, before built up was not there. Yes, I think it has classified it here. You can see before image, not that much of built up was there. But in the after image, if you see, yeah, built up has come up and the it has identified these pixels as yellow means built up has come up here, as you can see here. Yeah, these are the pixels. Here also it is showing yellow pixels, so we can check cross there. Here also you can see in the before image there was no built up. So like this you can do the analysis for all the classes. So this is the beauty of this data set even in the interval of the months you can do because for every Sentinel-2 image automatically it will create the LULC. So like this you can monitor the changes. So here also I think here you can see built up has come up. So it is identified it as a built up. We can give the red color also, so it, it will be better to visualize. So I will save this code also. Let me just go for change, change detection. L U L C. So like this earlier, what uh, what you have you you need to do you had to do basically you have to classify the before image after image then you have to do detection right now you have uh, nine nine class uh, cl uh, images classified into nine classes and you can directly monitor the changes like this so readily data set is available you can do the major changes definitely can be seen as you can see here a lot of built up has come up here this region and this region so this is able to pick up here also you can see if you if, if you see to this area also this built up has come up and it has rightly here also very small pixel is there but still it has able to pick up here you can see the beauty of this data set here in the before image there is no built up right now here but after something come up here and it has identified it you see this so the, i think the data set is quite accurate so like this you can do for the another classes also so what i will do i will just uh, i have saved these scripts and i will just give you the um, i will give the link of these scripts you can just modify your area of interest and classes based upon your data set. and dates also you can modify based on your um, requirement so uh, that's it guy from this uh, guys from this video and I hope you like the video. Please do uh, comment in the video if, if you face any problem and please subscribe to the channel. I have seen around 85% of the people are watching the video but not subscribe to the channel. So if you subscribe to it, basically it will motivate me to make more videos. Give a thumbs up to this video also. Thanks a lot for watching.